It's Bourbonite. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Sarah, we have a big box in here. What's in the box? We have Angel's Envy cast strength. I like that reference that yeah, you did like there. Yeah, like mm -hmm. the reference, what's in the box? What's in the box? Um, this, I think I can safely say, this is the fanciest bourbon packaging we have ever owned. And it is heavy. Yeah. That's how you know it's quality. Yeah. <laughs> quality. <laughs> it is heavy stuff. It's got this nice, uh, I guess you call it etching? I don't know. Engraving? Yeah. Angel's wings on the back. This very like art deco mm -hmm. uh, thing going on on the front. And very on nice. The inside. Should, yeah. Reveal. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a oh card. it's a card. Okay. Yeah. Behind the card. Reveal. Oh, there oh. it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, in this ornate box. You can do it. There we go. <laughs> I really like the detail on the inside, too, where they've yeah. done this stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you look at the price tag, it, it's a wonder. I mean, I think $50 is going into Just this. the box. Yeah, which, well, whatever. Well, uh, most people probably would skip the box and just go for the bottle, but you know what? They made a choice and... And they're sticking to it. They're sticking to it. Right. Well, there goes that. There goes that, yep. Um, so this is a yearly release. Yep. This was released in October, October 2018. 2018. There you go. <laughs> And it's a limited release too, right? Correct, yeah. I think there's what, 1,200 bottles? Mm -hmm. Something 1200 like that? 1,200 bottles, here we go. Yeah. Oh, that was, that one had some well, that's base. What, that's what you're paying for. That's what you're paying that's for. The uh, but this comes mm. in at 124 proof cast strength. So of course, you know, Angel's Envy finished in port wine barrels. I, we already talked about the price, but we didn't actually say what it was. Um, we got this for $190, so was quite expensive. This is uh, because of our Patreon, so a big thank you to our Patreon Thank you, patrons. Supporters, patreon.com slash it's bourbonite, making this happen so we can review it for you. Thank you very much. Yes. Yeah, that card's full of little details. Um, they try to do as little filtering as possible. We learned that. Yeah, they say uh, they try to get it as close to unfiltered as possible. They never chill filter no and there's no filter. active charcoal. In its filtration. So they basically just send it through. Actually, if you want to know, it's an 80 micron stainless steel screen Whoa. to remove the uh, chunks of char. It says every sip is rare and worth savoring, so we shall see. We shall savor. We shall savor it and see. But uh, first, the nose. What's on the other side? The tasty nose. Oh, I don't want to see those. <laughs> <laughs> like a light, toasty oak. I get like a faint blackberry, but it's like bright and light, you know, not like a syrup or a jam or anything like that. Uh, and those toasted notes. Peach or a raisin, maybe. Maybe that's like the blackberry is coming in like that raisin range. I mean, not a unremarkable nose, but not something that's really just... In this moment, it's not jumping out as one particular thing. So. Correct. So, let's go in for the taste. Let's. Whoa. That is high proof. There's a proof. There it is. Right off the bat, yeah, I'm gonna say that this is like no other Angel's Envy I've ever tried. Well, obviously, yes, I agree with that. My reaction to the regular on the shelf is usually meh. Uh -huh. So I like this. Off first, just first take. Right off the bat. Right off the bat. Okay. This is substantial. It has a long finish. Finish is still going. I mean, nice. Hug. Expected at 124 proof. Oh, it's warming me up. It it went down and it's kind of starting to creep back up. Right? <laughs> back into the mouth. It like warms you. And then you revisit the nose and like, I think yeah. after the first sip, you should always go back to the oh, nose. Oh, sure. I think a lot more like toasted vanilla notes now. Yeah, I am I am definitely getting more vanilla, uh, a little bit of caramel in the nose mm -hmm. now. Less of that blackberry, but it's still kind of Finish is, there. is, is still there. Still, still there. Still going. It, uh, Definitely call it a long finish. And the one thing I was kind of concerned about this, Sarah, is that it might be dry. And I'm not getting that, at least not yet. Not yet. Yep, second taste. Well, maybe just slightly on the finish. Slightly, slightly. Slightly. Yeah. It coats your mouth. It moves towards like mid back of the tongue. I get a slight I, tingle on the front of my yeah, tongue. Yeah, I was actually but... gonna say, I feel it more, I think on the front. Really? I might just be picking up more on the initial kind of <clears throat> mouth feel. Uh, there, but um, it does, yeah, it works its way all over, I would say. I think, like, I get the tingle all over, but I think I taste it more mid-back. Uh-huh. It's got a lot of great wood characteristics. If this was 
blinded to me. And again, this is just anecdotal because it's not, so who knows? But I feel like if I was blinded with this, I wouldn't put it as a finished whiskey. I was about to say the same thing. Yeah. I'm not tasting the port influence. Of course, admittedly, we're not very big port fans, hence why we don't like so much care for the regular Angel's Envy. We're more, right. as you said, you know, Cabernet. I'm not I, tasting that influence. Yeah, I don't so feel much. like it's speaking up as much as like the richness and depth of the whiskey. On a scale of cast strength, limited releases, I would say this falls like middle to higher end of as far as like richness and complexity. Um, complexity. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes you get them and, and they're really good. So for example, like I really like Woodford Batch Proof and mm -hmm. it's a high proof limited release. However, it's less complex in that I feel like it's really just one or two notes. They're really great notes and they're really strong and delicious. Um, but this I think has got, it's more of like, you know, flavors and harmony. I really think this is a two or three sip in type of uh, dissecting whiskey here. Definitely. Cause now I'm starting to get some chocolate kind of on the back end after I've had three sips and now I'm just letting it really settle into the tongue. I'm, I'm starting to get sort of that more barrel influence and the chocolate mm -hmm. kind of there revealing itself which I'm it's making me like it a lot more honestly every time I sip it I get like a little bit of a new flavor I've always been hopeful that I would find um, <laughs> right, a, a, a near a and dear to my heart yeah. angels in me well, apparently you just need port finish you just need the, I just need the, the proof, proof. <laughs> I'm gonna double down on that raisin because I'm now starting to kind of get it on the finish I can imagine chewing, mm -hmm. chewing a raisin yep so that's kind of one of the flavors like I was getting more of a toasted oak there my first couple sips and now it's going into more of like a raisin uh -huh. and uh, I can almost feel the chocolate coming on uh -huh. so that you were talking about so I think like the more you sip it it sort of just develops I think it develops in the glass now like the 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 heat or the spice is starting to kind of reveal itself mm -hmm. as more of like a a cinnamon or maybe mm -hmm. even like a little bit of clove in there. So what's crazy is when you said raisin, when we were nosing initially, I was like kind of like cinnamon raisin. Like it reminds <laughs> me almost of like a cereal that has like a cinnamon raisin some quality. Some cinnamon toast crunch, you throw some raisin well, bran like in there, Well, like raisin bran, but if it were dusted stuff. with cinnamon, I don't ah, know. Okay, no, I dig it. It doesn't exist, it doesn't mean it doesn't taste like it. <laughs> I mean, you buy two boxes of different cereal, it can exist. Okay, fair. Um, okay, so here's what I want to do. I want to see what the tasting notes are on that card. Yeah, it's really hanging around. It's hanging around. They've been hanging around this town. We're not, we're, they're not going to let us keep this video up Demonetized. on YouTube. Demonetized. Yep, there it goes. All right, let's see uh, what we're, what their tasting notes were. For the nose, uh, banana and honey, light burnt wood. So that's the toasted, I think. I didn't get the three. banana. I did not. I don't get banana, not banana at, all. at all. I could be convinced to find honey, power of suggestion, but not the banana. I probably wouldn't have said honey, but I, that light sweetness. More of a honey tea. Not what I would have said up front, but no. Oh, oh snap. What? I promise you, I swear, I did not look at this. What? I don't, I can't vouch for you because I don't know where your eyeballs saw when you opened the box. Um, taste. Did I get something right? Caramel, sweet raisins, cola, herbal notes, finish, dark chocolate, heavy <laughs> toasted oak, fresh figs. Didn't get figs. So I think, well the figs I think is where I was going with like that blackberry. Cola. Dark chocolate, we both said. Mm. I said the toasted oak. You did? Yeah. yeah. Hey, we're getting pretty good at this. Or at least this is what they th they think it tastes like. Everyone experiences it differently. Yeah, and the great thing is, there's no wrong answer. There's no wrong so answer. So if you guys got something different, uh, that's not Put it in the comments That's if not you've incorrect, this. yeah. I can see the herbal. Definitely the things that we called out though. Sweet raisins, that's Sweet great. Sweet raisins. Now, if you don't like raisins, it's not off-putting. It's not like super raisiny. I know no, a lot of people are like, man, not raisins. raisins. <laughs> I like raisins. It's good. When it's in bran. Right, I don't like raisins in my muffins and stuff. It's a surprise and I, uh, I thought it was chocolate chips and it's not. Stay out of my cookies, raisins. Stay out of our cookies. <laughs> We're gonna add uh, a few drops of water. I'm thinking probably about five. Five drops of water have been added. We're gonna give this some time to sit here and mingle. Uh, in the meantime, we wanna uh, Again, thank our patrons, and you can become a patron if you like. It's patreon.com slash it's bourbonite. We have exclusive podcasts on there. There's uh, polls and discussions and a, actually a really cool budding community of whiskey drinkers that is, I mean, beyond just us, it's just like just a, a great place to go and, and talk to other bourbon lovers. Mm -hmm. And we're working on some new treats for them. Boom. But they talk to each other now. They give each other recommendations. It's great. Speaking of places to go on the web. 
uh, you can go to our Amazon influencer page. It's amazon.com slash shop slash, it's bourbon night, but if I could say slash. Um, <laughs> yeah. And we have all kinds of stuff on there. We have glassware, you know, ice molds, stickers for your- Stuff to do your bourbon Bourbon night, night. Uh, yeah. But actually I was referring to whiskeyambitions.com, uh, but that's oh. fine. They don't have to go in a certain order, but whiskeyambitions.com where you can get uh, the Drink More Bourbon Glen Karens, it's bourbon night Glen Karens, uh, t-shirts like, like this, this, one. this right here and, and other ones. And uh, lots more, more coming. Lots, lots more coming soon. And lastly, you can follow us on all the social medias at It's Bourbonite. We're gonna let this sit for about 10 minutes. So we'll pause, come back, and let you know what uh, Five Drops of Water has done to this. See you soon. And we're back. It's been about 10 minutes. Now we're gonna see what about Five Drops of Water has done to this year's whiskey. I think there's more raisin on the nose now. Yeah, more barrel, more caramel like everything. more caramel for sure it smells a little bit more inviting to be honest with you i mean it definitely offers more complexity than like the uncut first impression nose that we sure. gave yeah so there's that all right this might be <laughs> one of those ones that i like with a couple of drops of water yeah. like those five drops really helped it open up and i think what's missing now is that like rich mouth feel correct it's still good but it's just, you know, a little bit watered down. But the flavors are much more present and forward. I think that the port comes through just a little bit towards the finish, more so than it did uncut. Uh, it's about a toss up for me. That's what I was about to say. Really. I, I think that. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, now down to the nitty gritty, the brass tacks. Oh, the tough time. Um, $190, $200 for this. Yes, it's a limited. Yes, it comes in a beautiful box. You're gonna drink this, right? You know, it's right. Not just gonna sit around and look at it. Correct. Maybe I don't know. Maybe you'll put it on your mantle. I don't know. We gotta talk about as far as recommending this or not, based on what's inside. It is the best Angels MV that we have ever had. Correct. Now this is also be noted the first year that we've had of the cast strength. That's also true. We do know that people kind of go wild over this cast strength, though. Yeah. They seem to really love it, and I don't know if that's people in general, like whiskey drink drinkers in general, or. Angels Envy fans. But see, I wouldn't think that this is up the alley of your average Angels Envy fan. Hmm. Because that base level Angels Envy is a lot sweeter and a lot more port forward, I think, than this, which is, I think, more for the- Whiskey fan. Whiskey fan, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. For a comparison, we were just drinking on some Barstown Bourbon Company uh, Cabernet finished. It was- uh, Pfeiffer, Pave. Pfeiffer, Pave, pa pa probably. Pave, Pave. Cabernet Savion finished mm -hmm. um, for about $125. Right. I was just telling Sarah during our break that I think I like that better. She was mm -hmm. saying I have to do a side by side. I would have to do a side by side. For me, I just I remember it tasting more complex and yet, yet balanced and, and so forth. Sure. So I would rather go with that bottle over this one and save some money. The recommend or not is tough. It and honestly, really I don't know which way I'm going yet. I don't either. At this point, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Because like, cost aside, fancy box aside, I do like what's I in this bottle. I enjoy this. I would drink this. But and at I what am cost? Going to drink this. At what cost, though? Um, when you could have, you know, and 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 I'm sure people are gonna put in the comments, I could have X number of X bottle for the, this price. And you know, you could have totally fair three bottles of. Elijah Craig barrel proof mm -hmm. for this and have some change in your pocket. But I think the thing is, is that we're not reviewing this bottle versus every other bottle, right? Correct. We're reviewing this bottle. Yeah. This bottle is good. It's delicious. I would be happy to drink this anytime. No, we're going to be happy to drink on this. And I think the purpose of this review is to let you know if you are on the fence about whether or not you should get one that if you're thinking about spending that much money and you're just not sure if it's worth it as far as the taste, I think that we can say, yes, it tastes good. Don't be scared. Like if, the, if you're intrigued by it and you want to yeah. get it, but you're just not sure. But I can't help but look over there at I know. BTAC and, and other limited edition things Fair. that have been, that are less price if you get them, you know, MSRP, we should say, if you get them for retail, uh, that I enjoy better than this. So I'm gonna have to leave it with, find it at a bar for a good price and get a pour of it because I cannot give it the recommend and say, yes, go out and buy this 
uh, taste untasted, taste unseen. Fair. I can't do it. So I'm gonna give it the sideways. The sideways. Yeah. Oh no, where, the where ever dreaded sideways. I know, I know. Hopefully you you guys don't say it as a cop out. But I mean, I mean, I enjoy it, but I can't say, yeah, run out and get it. If you're asking me, would I rather on the shelf at retail? I'm not saying this is in a world where this could happen. But if I walked in and saw this or Booker's 30th, which one would I get? Well, huh. I would get Booker's 30th. Booker's all day. 30th all day long. But one's a bourbon, one's a finished bourbon. So it's apples and oranges. Right? Yeah. I just think like if you're out to collect and you're interested in this bottle, it has a great reputation. It, what's inside is great. You get this amazing box. So if you're considering it and you're just on that tipping point, I think you consider this a push over the edge. Yes, I would get it. Am I telling everyone who's watching this review to go out and hunt this right now? No, I'm not. So I guess I'm also kind of giving it the sideways. Okay. Like a three quarters. Oh, a three quarters. I really enjoy it. I like it. I'm glad we have it. I love it. this system that we're making up as we go. I might like it a little bit better than you do. I think you might. Mm. I think you might. Interesting. Think you might. Mm. Okay. Well, that'll do it for us. We've already done them plugs, so I guess we'll just say if you like we're bringing the table and you haven't already subscribed, we would greatly appreciate it if you do subscribe to the channel. You can give us a thumbs up if you think we earned it. Leave us a comment or question down below. We love getting those. It would make us happy. And also giving us a thumbs up helps this video get discovered. So if you, if you do want to help us out there, we would we'd really appreciate it. So that'll do it for us. Uh, thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay. Until next time, drink more bourbon or finished bourbon. That Barstown Bourbon Company all day. Really? Yeah. Well, let's do it. Let's side by side just a little bit. What?